Hi guys, Carolina here. Um, more movement flows for you that are short and sweet and to the point. And that's what we're going to do right now. So grab your mat, um, whatever else you need, and meet me on the mat. Maybe you just woke up. Maybe you just need a movement break from sitting behind your desk. But let's get started. We're going to lay down our back. Bring the knees right away into the chest. This is a little bit more of an unnatural position for your spine. But enjoy that feeling of lengthening the spine down away from you. Allowing the entire lower back to really press down into the floor. And maybe take a gentle rock side to side. Slowly bring the arms out to the side of the T, or if you're limited on space, kind of make a right angle <laughs> position with the elbow, and then drop both the knees, still keeping them stacked over towards the right. Gaze either up towards the ceiling or towards the left. Really allowing those legs to sink and drop down into the floor, so you're getting a nice opening through that left side body. Take a few deep breaths in and out here. Really breathing life, breathing space into your body. Feeling the opening and expanding in your chest. And then on your next inhale, start to engage the lower belly. And lift the knees back up. And let them fall over towards the left, still stacked. Now you might notice um, an unevenness in your sides, and that's okay. Still trying to keep those knees stacked. I know that I'm a little bit more open on that other side, so this side right now seems a little bit more challenging to me. It's okay if the same happens to you, or if it doesn't. This time I'm thinking about opening through that right shoulder and the front body. Deep breaths in and out, really allowing the legs, the hips to sink down. And then again, engaging that lower belly. Bring your knees back up into the chest. We're going to stack the knees over the hips. You can point the toes or flex the feet if you want. And then I would recommend that even if you don't have a lot of space to really try to press the hands, the palm down into the floor. We're going to take those legs over towards the right. Keep the knees glued together, but don't drop the legs down to the floor. And then use that lower belly again to lift the legs back to center. We're going to take that a few times left to right. And taking this nice swing, starting to engage the lower belly, the abdominals. You didn't see that coming, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're doing a little bit of stretching, a little bit of strengthening in this class because that is what we need. So taking that movement side to side, keeping those legs hovering. If you want an extra challenge, you can straighten the legs out. It's a lot of torque on the back, so be um, really gentle here and really careful of what you are. Take that one more time to the left, and then bring your knees back into the chest. We're going to take a rock front to back. And if this hurts your back at any time, stop what you're doing and just meet us in the next pose. It should feel really good. Rolling out that back space, and then coming up to seated. But then right away, we're going to bring the knees back to our tabletop position. Just take a rock forward and back. We'll take that two and three and four. And last time, then walk the hands forward, tuck the toes under, lift the hips, drop the heels. Maybe keeping the knees slightly bent to begin with if you like. Make sure that full palm is down on the floor, rotating the elbows in towards you. So you're relaxing in a sense of the shoulders down the back. And again, you can always keep those knees slightly bent. And then we're going to switch one side to the other. So bring up the heel of the right foot 
reach that left heel down as much as possible, and then switch, walking out the dog. Making sure you're breathing here, in and out. And then slowly come back to neutral. Lift the heels up, wave the body forward, feeling movement through the vertebrae, come into your plank pose, and then bend the knees, shift back, reach the hips up and back. Beautiful. A few more times. Lift the heels, slowly sequencing through the spine, feeling that lower belly lift, pressing back, really, really aware of everything you're doing in these movements. That lower belly and the obliques are working. Let's take that one more time and then we're going to reverse. So then bend the knees first to bring them close to the ground. Shoot the body forward. Lift the hips up and back. Bend the knees. Shoot forward. Lift the hips up and back. Again, bend. Shoot forward. One more time. Lift up and back. Bring the feet in together, toes touching. Lift the right leg up. Open up the hip if you'd like. Bend the knee, reach the toes back. Keep reaching the left knee forward. Make sure that you're keeping the hip, that other hip square. Look forward, straighten the leg again, and step the right foot forward. Drop the left knee. Inhaling the arms up, dropping the shoulders. Exhale, hands come down. Lift the left knee, step the right foot back, and reach the hips up and back. Now we're facing dog, bring the feet in together. Lift the left leg up, open up the hip, bend the knee. Again, making sure that the right knee is still facing forward. Lift and extend that left leg. Look forward, step the left foot forward, drop the right knee, inhaling the arms up. Exhaling, hands come down, lift the right knee, step the left foot back, lift the hips up and back. Bring the feet together again, lift that right leg up, open up the hip, take a deep breath in and out here. Really feeling that right knee, reach up as much as possible, extend the leg. Look forward, step forward. This time, if you'd like to drop the knee or keep it lifted, inhale the arms up really from the grounding, the right foot down into the floor. Exhale, hands come down, step back, down replacing dog. Bring the feet in together, left leg reaches up and back, open up the hip, reach that left knee up, reach the right knee forward, look forward, straighten the leg. Step forward, knee down or keeping it up, lifting the arms up, lifting the knees if you'd like. Left foot firmly planted. Exhale, hands down. This time, step that right foot forward, forward fold. Drop the head. Shake out the head here a little bit. Shake out the neck. And then your choice here of forward fold. Either two piece fingers grabbing on to the big toe, grabbing onto the backs of the legs. You can stand on the hands if you are more flexible. You can also, if you're feeling a little bit less flexible or still pretty stiff right now, grab onto opposite elbows. And just saying, I would recommend bending your knees here. Top of the head reaches down. Take a few deep breaths here, really lengthening the backs of the legs. And drop the hands down or, or bring them down towards the front of the mat. Roll up to standing, tucking the tailbone under, reaching the arms up, exhaling forward fold right away. Bend the deep bend the knees, walk the hands back behind you, come onto your back right away, bring the feet forward towards you, sorry, backwards I guess, heels underneath the knees, lift up into your bridge. 
Exhale, back down. Inhale, lift. And exhale down, squeezing the glutes as you come up and really engaging the back chain of the body. And exhale, back down. Bring your knees into the chest, to the rock side to side again. And then front to back. Again, if this is painful for you, find a different way. Up to seated. And I really hope that this is a good warm up for you to go into any other sequences, any more um, complex or lengthy um, practices or to get you going with your day. Thank you for practicing with me today. Please like this video, leave any comments, um, and see you next time.